The receiving process and initial culture shock is over. Tonight in part two, Marine Corps recruits are in the middle of training. Drill instructors say for some, this is the hardest part to mentally overcome. And despite stereotypes saying that boot camp is designed to break down the recruit, I found in my time at MCRD quite the opposite going on. We learned tonight everything has a purpose. You will get 100% of yourself at all times. It might sound like endless yelling. Yeah, what about this spread? Spread. It's really just endless corrections. Corrections that drill instructors say transform civilians into polished and prepared members of the Marine Corps. Right. Hey. Well, mentally, we, you know, we keep a vigorous training. We keep them physically fit. We constantly uh, put them under stress. So they can handle, you know, dealing with the stressful environments and uh, creating, you know, small, completing small tasks for the drill instructor. Just get in the face, verbally let them know, hey, there's no other option. Is you're just gonna, you're gonna complete the task. Like the right. But that's easier said than done. Drill instructors say it takes emotional strength to survive the first few weeks of boot camp. It's probably the initial separation from home and just the total control that we have over every aspect of their life. Giovanni Martinez started boot camp at MCRD San Diego when he was just 17. The first couple of nights you can't really sleep because you don't, you don't know where you're at. You wake up and you're kind of scared, you're kind of nervous, but you get, you get calm and it just becomes home. Part of settling in is exercising a newfound discipline. Instead of listen, it's open, sir, click, sir. And where the mind will go, the body will follow. Recruits are growing physically stronger every day. That's where the confidence courses come in. Recruits at this stage learn to trust in their own abilities and their gear. The rappel tower is a key moment in that process, but drill instructors say this is also when some recruits want to tap out. That's what we have the drones for. They get, in, they intervene, and they make sure they get the kids down there. You got the uh, bunch of high obstacles. You got the A-frame. You got the uh, slide for life. Whenever there's a need for boots on the ground, the Marines are the first to arrive, making up 15 percent of the nation's attack squadrons. Meaning, when duty calls, Marines need to be in great shape. I liked um, the PFTs. It's pull-ups, sit-ups, and run time. I do a lot of pull-ups. I did 37 pull-ups. That was really cool to see what I can do just because I'm really short. The PFTs are pretty cool. Drill instructors also take on the role of a father figure for the recruits, a disciplinarian and a teacher. Every time they wake up, there's drones that are there. Every time they go to sleep, there's drones that are putting them to sleep. So that, that, uh, that impacted them alone you know, inspires them just to keep, keep going. Something the Marine Corps prides themselves on, caring for the recruits throughout the process. I think typically people see the, the drone center as a, you know, they relate to the movies. The recruits aren't getting beat down or anything like that of that nature. You know, the mission is the, the ones that qualify, we get them on, on to become Marines. The ones that don't qualify, we get them weeded out. By their last few weeks of training, recruits are becoming less like the civilian versions of themselves. They have the mental and physical attributes of United States Marines. By third phase, most of the kids, they already have their objective. They're going to make it. They're not going to stop no matter what. Recruits must use the new skills they've developed if they want to make it to the Crucible. That's a 54-hour training challenge coming at the beginning of week of week 12. Tomorrow night, you'll see recruits complete the most difficult obstacle they face so far. That's the Reaper. Carl Bonek has details on our warm-up this weekend when your TV6 Late News continues.